नमस्कार जी माय नेम इज संदीप जियाल एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आई विल टेक यू टू उत्तराखंड टू एक्सप्लोर सम रियली ओल्ड हिमालयन विलेजेस इन द धौली गंगा एंड नीति वैली बेसिकली मलारी घमशाली एंड नीति आर द थ्री विलेजेस विच आर द बिगर विलेजेस इन दिस एरिया एंड दे आर ऑल्सो द मोर फेमस वंस मलारी इज ऑल्सो वर्ल्ड हेरिटेज साइट बट अलॉन्ग दिस रूट देर आर लॉर्ड्स ऑफ स्मॉल विलेजेज फॉर सम ऑफ दैन यू हैव टू हाइक but uh, all of them are worth checking out a disclaimer i did shoot this video last year but i never got around to edit it anyhow without any more delays let me take you to majestic himalayas to explore some really old villages it's 8 o'clock in the morning and i'm on my way to malari village in dholi ganga valley driving in a cold november morning through this barren rock faces and slopes dotted with juniper trees is really peaceful and is an indication of a wonderful day coming ahead i just stopped the car we spotted these i guess they are deer or maybe mountain goats i'll have to check it to confirm but they look so wonderful they are grazing bright sunlight of the november morning they look really amazing it's good that i bought my uh, 200 mm lens i'm able to film them real close Hello everyone I am in this village called Malari right now this is the first and one of the biggest villages here in the Niti valley it is a settlement of bhotia people and houses here are extremely old these houses are built in traditional himalayan architecture and uh, all the houses have amazing wood carvings done on them I'm returning to Malari after 5 years cause last time I couldn't spend time here. But the image of Malari perched right at the edge of a hill surrounded by golden colored mountains and snow peaks was etched deep in my mind. I can't explain it's surreal it hits different immediately captures every strain of your attention. The first look of Malari almost came and flashed among the Himalayas was like going back in time and finding an elusive settlement in the wild of Himalayas. This house such a good setting. Such a good view. Snow peaks behind it. Uh, Malari is divided in two parts by a road but on the upper part i saw this extremely old houses just by looking at it you can tell that they are very old and i can see that there are some bells so probably it might be some kind of temple and uh, because the villages are completely empty right now i have no one to ask for the details of the place if this is a temple or not Walking inside this village is like going in a maze but here there is a beautiful house at every corner of the numerous alleys that are running around in no order whatsoever The homes are made of slate roof structures of wood and stone walls that are covered in mud paste The years of exposure to firewood burning in the house and harsh climate of Himalayas has turned the wood dark in color and in the shades that are just so beautiful. The small doors, beautiful carvings, windows without glasses, the steep staircases, a balcony running around the house, Malari has it all. It's 
it has not yet given into the modern cement and brick homes. It still holds the traditional architecture proudly. I came straight to this place called Lata village in the Nanda Devi National Park. I'm staying in a lodge which is the only place to stay here and this is run by Narendra Rana which, who is the son of Dhan Singh who used to go on expeditions to Nanda Devi when he was still young back in the 70s. He has built a small museum from the old artifacts and cultural pieces that he collected from around the village and this valley. अभी मैंने यहाँ पे एक छोटा सा लॉज शुरू किया है और ये उसका छोटा सा पार्ट्स है ये इसमें मैंने छोटा सा म्यूजियम बनाना चाह रहा हूँ जब हम यहाँ पे तिब्बत व्यापार करते थे अभी तो बासठ की लड़ाई की बात बंद हो गया तो ये बकरी में रख के दोनों तरफ सामान डाल के तो ये ले जाते थे व्यापार के लिए तो पहले का ये दो शेर है मतलब दो किलो है उस समय का आपका कुट्टू का आटा का घोलने के लिए वही बनाने के लिए पैनकेक बोल सकते हैं आप पैनकेक लुक्स लाइक अ बिग कॉफी मग मग नहीं है ये लकड़ी लकड़ी है ये भी लकड़ी है ये बजाओ इट्स वेरी हैवी आई डोंट वांट टू बी हिट ऑन हेड बाय दिस अभी भी सुनो उसमें घी का कुछ आ रही है इट्स वेरी स्ट्रांग स्मेल मैं पुराने जमाने में पता नहीं क्या वो होता था ऐसे लगा लगा रखा कि भाई घी खराब ना हो गई भोकरा ये मंदिरों में बजाते हैं ये भेड़ का ऊन का ये ये जो मैं बत, बात कर रहा था चुटका ये है चुटका ये उस समय की रजाई है ये भेड़ का ऊन का होता है ये काला ऊन और सफेद ऊन को मिक्स करके बनाते हैं ये उसमें जब शादी में क्या करते थे दो एक ये वाला धन ये वाला आसन और दो ऐसे आसन इसके साथ के ये एक सेट हो जाता था फिर दो धन ये वाले फिर एक लवा एक चुटका एक पंखी तो ये देते थे I remember, I remember seeing these kind of TVs in the old movies. Oswal products. अभी बहुत मांग है चूल्हे के तेल का तो लोग तो मशीन से निकाल रहे हैं वो हॉट प्रोसेस हो गया पूरा चला देता है उसका तो इसमें ये कोल्ड प्रोसेस से मतलब हाथ से निकालते हैं गाय और बच्चों को छोड़ के बाकी जो बैल है और जो आपकी सांड है उनके साथ के सामान सामान ढोने के लिए ये भी यूज होते हैं बाकी ये पुराने औजार हैं ये करची और ये पुराने वो हैं हमारे जोरवा बोलते हैं इनको पुराने समय में ऐसी चाबी यूज करते ये चाबी का काम करता था ये बड़े दरवाजे खोलने के लिए अंदर से लॉक होता था तो ये चाबियाँ ऐसी बनती थी पुराने So today he made uh, some rai ka saag and then kadi with green vegetables inside and rajma local rajma This rai ka saag is really good this one and this is the kind of food that I really like Mm mm Right after Malari, you enter into this whole new world. The entrance to Niti Valley is lined with conifer forests till the tree line. Rock faces with peaks covered in snow makes you feel cold even in the high sun beating down on you. Both Niti and Dholi Ganga Valley are joined by the Dholi Ganga River. Winter is coming and villages along the way are already closed down.
for the winters already and it almost feels like that we are walking in a ghost village. Gamshali is surrounded by rock faces that form three valleys going in different directions. And Gamshali sits right at its mouth and is an easy place to view Dhunagiri and Kangusandi peaks, standing tall far in the valleys. All the villages in these valleys are situated above 3000 meters, an area that cuts off from the rest of the world in winters. That's why all the villages here are summer villages. In November, all the villagers lock their homes, seal the locks and migrate to villages in lower altitudes. During summers, the villages, ca villages come back here. And I can imagine the Chehel Pehel at that time, but right now it is completely abandoned. Usually the lower, uh, lower floor is for the cattle and the upper floor is where people live. It would have been nice uh, if there were people around here. Uh, to be very frank, I have no idea about the story of this village. I was hoping to talk to some local villagers, but <laughs> unfortunately it is completely closed. This village is completely closed right now. Even though I couldn't have any interaction with the villagers here, it was still worth visiting these villages. It was like stumbling upon a lost civilization and walking through their village, which is nothing short of a paradise. <laughs>